In this video, we will cover a few different methods to measure speaker impedance. Speaker impedance is the resistance of a speaker at different frequencies. If only a multimeter is available, a simple method to measure speaker impedance is to disconnect the speaker from the amplifier and set the multimeter to the ohms or resistance setting. If your multimeter has more than one resistance setting, set it to the lowest one. Take the test leads and connect one to each speaker terminal. This should get you the DC resistance value of the speaker. This method gets basic information about the speaker, like whether there is a short or open circuit, but does not give a complete picture of the health of the speaker. If the speaker is connected to a crown amplifier, there may be an SLM or sweep load monitoring tool built into the amplifier depending on the amplifier model. This can be done using Audio Architect or System Architect software. Open the amplifier interface in the design file and go to the SLM section. Some sites may have the SLM settings pre-configured. If not, these settings are a good starting point. Click Start. The amplifier sends a sweep to the speaker and takes a measurement. The results will show up in the results tabs and this can then be compared to other similar speakers or a known good impedance sweep to verify the health of the speaker. A reference sweep may be present in the amplifier and this would be a good reference to use. Care should be taken to not run this tool too loud as that can cause speaker damage. If using QSC QSIS amplifiers, the system should have a UCI or user interface panel that will display speaker impedance values when audio is played to the sound system. These are not as accurate as sweeps but get a general value of the system health. Another tool is a Dayton Audio DATS. Version 3 is used here. Dactronics has work instructions for the setup and calibration of this device, so for this video we'll go straight into testing. The speaker should be disconnected from the amplifier so that the DATS device does not get damaged. Connect the test leads to the speaker terminals and click the impedance sweep button in the DATS software. This will display the sweep results and it can then be compared to other sweeps or a good reference sweep.